and after digging out of all oh my eye Monika ejeren af bilen her bag mig næste gang overvejer i ej shit okay drive outside our studios in New York I think I heard you say there's also another storm coming, Rick. Right? There's a potential nor'easter on Thursday for the northeast as well, and there's another blizzard I'll show you on the map uh, coming towards the central plain. So we're in a, a very active weather pattern right now, but we're not done with this storm just yet. Talking about historic snows, Portland, Maine at 29.3 inches. Really, I mean, not to be a killjoy in all of this, but if you are going to venture out on this hill, be safe. Wear a helmet if you can, because like I said, it's getting icier and icier as that snow just compacts further and further. And we know that it's not going to get any better. Uh, in fact, it probably will get worse as long as this corridor is open. Again, you just saw a car go by behind me. Buses are coming through here, too. And as I mentioned, a number of close calls, but still Police fun to watch. just stopped because of your reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. All right, well. that's gone on for a decade and you've ruined okay, it. Okay, okay. Uh, wow, 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 wow. So I've got my trusty stopwatch and here they come down the hill. It looks like Ruben is in the lead and here comes Al. Oh, jeez. That was a bad idea. At Riverside Park, Rob Black, Global News. Там внизу в потрібних поміщеннях все давно вже... It is a sloppy, slippery mess. Oh, watch out, sir. Okay, I'm so sorry. And we've just watched this gentleman. This is what happens when you're, uh, you can fall very quickly here. Hi, you guys. So I'm here with Richard and Katie from the Utah Nordic Alliance of Utah. And you guys are teaching me how to cross country ski. So give us some bigs. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now I'm gonna toss it back to you guys. I just slipped and fell, so not hard at all to find snow banks like this or even bigger from some of the snow that's oh <laughs> it's tough. And you can see people like this person behind me are going extremely slow. This is on uh, this, the side road here, but even on the highway, uh, no one's going the exact speed limit. I would say around 40 miles an hour. Pe some people are going even slower than that. <laughs> so it's extremely slippery. I actually just fell on the pavement. Are you going? I'm sorry. Is that danger? Oh, okay. so We're gonna sorry, take I just got off the phone with the first energy spokeswoman. Whoa. And we just got hit with a blast of snow from a plow truck. But anyway, there goes a couple of plows demonstrating what I said, <laughs> what I said, hitting us. All right, there you go. Here comes another one. <laughs> there, they knocked it. Four plow trucks, four plow trucks, and you can still, still snow covered. So Another dangerous game kids play is to tunnel in snowbanks near the road. A few years ago, one boy actually... One of the things I've never experienced when I'm out doing a snowy shot is getting hit with a snowball. And what you do is you chase these guys. And these roads and these bridges can be extreme, extremely, extremely dangerous. So, have you been out driving? Yeah. What are you writing a book? Yeah. Well, I'll leave that chapter up. <laughs> I've been over to VA hospital. Yeah. They canceled the appointment mm. because the <laughs> couldn't get out there. What are you doing with that? <laughs> Channel two. Get out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> All right. Tell your boys, tell your boys to quit repeating so much of the same damn thing. All right. Hey, listen. I know you're gonna block all this. Oh, no, no, we're gonna play this one. You're out of your gourd. I caught up with Chelsea and Michael, who were jogging by, and were nice to just stop for a quick second. And I said, "What are you doing running?" And you're saying it was really good out. It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact, and it's dry snow, so your feet don't get wet. Oh, what have you seen while you've been out running? It's been a lot of fun. There's a lot of other runners and more skiers than runners for sure. I think they've got a little bit of the advantage with yeah. the whole stride and glide thing. But it's too nice to not be out here. Yeah, it's incredible though, just to see even people still on their bicycles. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how they do it with the bikes, like That's... braking. At least we can control, you know, at worst case, we can just slide right through a stop sign and we'll be okay because we're pretty visible at night. Did this surprise you, the snow? Um, 
this much of it, I think. When we woke up this morning, we were definitely surprised by how much there was. We were sort of joking that it was a nice dusting, but the reality is, is this is a this is a real chunk of snow giving Hood a run for its money. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we're both California kids, so we haven't had many snow days in our lives, so this is pretty exciting. All right, well, go ahead and keep on the run. I'm sorry to have kept you, but I appreciate you guys talking thanks. with us. Stay warm. All right, thanks. So we've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops. That can happen, unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? 